They finished last season outside the top 10. I mean, that's some achievement because they've been knocking on the door all season. Do we sort of forget how incredible their season has been? Because it's sort of, we expect it now, right? Yeah, I, st- I still didn't expect it this year. I thought they were finishing the top six in and around that, back in Europe, maybe fighting for that Europa League, Europa Conference. Mm. But what they've done has been remarkable. And the job that Eddie Howe's done coaching these group of players, um, the, the squad rotation, um, I mean, they've got two very good centre forwards that score a lot of goals. Um, it was almost like Callum Wilson took it personally. The he, fact was, he was brilliant. He's been time. brilliant, but I think it's 18 or 19 he's got for the season. But it was a time where it looked like they were trying to transition into Isaac being the main man. But every time he come on the pitch, Callum scored a goal, and he's obviously back to being their their main centre forward. Mm. But what a job he's done! The, the uh, Joe Linton making him better. Almiron's played well. Bruno, who I don't think he's been at his best the last couple of weeks, but no, he hasn't. he's still been had a phenomenal season. Yeah. Dan Byrne, the centre backs, the goalkeeper. There's not one player in their squad I could go. Nah, he's not really pulled his weight in. But also, I think when we found out, or not when we found out, but when we were talking about the takeover and how much money their owners have got, something like £350 billion, we all expected Eddie Howe to bring in super... Even like Neymar was linked to the club. Mm. Every time that a player was having contract talks with his current club, and he was a big name, we were linking him to Newcastle. They've done it. They've got top four without buying that superstar, haven't they? They've bought really cleverly. Mm. They've got a good squad ethos, you'd have to say. <gasps> Where'd you get that word from? Simon Jordan. No, that weren't really. That's anyway. <laughs> um, it's one of them where, listen, really good squad camaraderie what's uh, go hold on what's happening here <laughs> where have you got these from squad camaraderie go on, go on, one more uh, good squad bets <laughs> that's, that's what I've got yeah, I was thinking but, that. do you know what he's got really good squad <laughs> rotation and depth and camaraderie and I think what what will be interesting for Eddie Howe next is that yes they've got a lot of very good players but when they then dip their toe into that superstar market mm. comes all different not d- problems but superstars come with a little bit more attitude because that's what that's what's got them that little bit of extra arrogance has got them to that level. But if Eddie Howe can manage that and maybe add one or two more, then listen, they have been fantastic. It's interesting you mention about the players, big players coming in, because there was a lot of expectation this season, this season with regards to what players were coming. They didn't mm. get them. I sort of felt Newcastle on a bit of a free ride this season because we didn't really hand on heart. Well, think they've, 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 caught by, they've caught everyone right. by surprise. Next season, next season, it's the pressure. Do you think they they will think their fans will think they should be challenging, not no, win it? No, but like Arsenal have challenged, yeah. right? And, and nearly gone all the. Should that be Newcastle's season next year? No, because I think for Newcastle now now they've because I think they're way ahead of where they thought they'd be. Yeah, I agree. Um, I think for next season, the expectation for them has got to be: can they solidify themselves in the top four? Because it could change quickly. We've seen. You know, I mean, Manchester City are, are constant. We've seen Liverpool now, who've been fantastic for the last five years. They've fallen out. Mm. Chelsea have completely fallen off a cliff. So you'd expect them to be better. Spurs are flirting with it in and out. Arsenal have been in the top four for a while. It's it changed. It's changed. Other than Manchester City, it's changing all the time, all the time. So Newcastle, if they can solidify themselves as a top four team, mm. then yeah, that that'll be the aim for it. I won't be getting carried away and thinking, right, Champions League, we're going to win it next year. FA Cup, and we're going to try and win the league and. It's too much. First and foremost, try and stay in that top four. Where, where do they need to strengthen? And by that, I mean, listen, if, you, if you're going to move on to the next level, you need to bring, bring a, a better level of player in, right? One that's quite surprising, right, is that I know Dan Byrne hasn't done badly at left-back, but by a trade, he's a centre-half. Jao Cancelo. Because right, OK, I wasn't expecting that. Because he, he obviously left-back. It looks like Manchester City are going to let him go. Yeah. I think Arsenal in talks with him. But Newcastle. Oh, I was going to talk to them, another left back. Apparently, because Tierney apparently could be going to Newcastle. Oh, right, That's another okay. one. Right. But I think Jao Cancelo, listen, he's top draw, couple of seats, he's best ball back, left back in the, yeah, just in the country. Pep, right? Just fell out of Pep. So he's another one. Zahar on a free. Mm, okay. We'll say Maximum looks like he's going to part move on. Yeah. So you've got Zahar there. Another quite rogue one. Oh, wow. Okay. Marco Arsencio. Okay, I wasn't expecting that either. From Real Madrid yeah, yeah. on a free. You think I'm going to Newcastle? Good player, by the way. Yeah, of top, he is. top Well, if Newcastle have got ambition to, to get to that level, okay. why can't you, they be looking at really Newcastle? You've done out? your homework. Yeah. Yesterday you did no homework. Today you've done a lot of homework. I like that. And another one, Everett Cheesy. Eze. What's happening here? Why have you got so many names? Eze. Do you think he will leave Palace? 